Today we are going to make an 8-bit register. 8-bit um, register is made of um, eight instances of 1-bit register we created in the previous video. Um, and uh, we simply um, wire 8-bit uh, of 1-bit um, registers to create an 8-bit register. Um, so I'm going to open the CPU project library. That brings the one bit register uh, we created last time. And um, we also open the library with uh, uh, standard 8 bit ports. Uh, we need this library for creating the symbol. All right. Um, this is the um, design of 8-bit register. What we need is eight instances of 1-bit register. Um, all the registers share same uh, clock signal and also same uh, enable. Um, they have an independent uh, load or D signal. Um, so let's uh, start. This is the enable signal, which is common between um, all the one bit registers. And this one is the clock signal, which is again common between um, all the registers. Well, we have a common clock signal because we want to have all the registers synchronized and we have a common enable signal. So we can uh, write to all the registers at the same time at the synchronized uh, clock cycle. Um, however, the uh, D signal must be uh, different for every one of the bits. This is uh, eight bit register, so you can imagine like a, a char data type being loaded into eight bit of the data we have in here. So that can be imagined that uh, signals for every one of the bits is different. For that instance, um, it's best to have a, a bus which is connecting um, which is carrying all the 8 bit of uh, re register all together. So I'm connecting bit 7 to the most significant bit of the breakout, um, next bit to bit 6, so on and so forth. Um, wirings of the input. Let's do the wiring of the output so we can read the value of the register in one uh, single bus. All right. And now we can start uh, testing the circuit uh, with some uh, test inputs. Uh, let's attach hex keyboards for driving the uh, driving value to the registers. We have eight bit to drive. So I'm going to drop two instances of uh, four bit hex keyboard. Um, and it's best to attach a clock driver for um, the clock signal and attach a binary switch for the load signal, the enable signal. Okay, um, the expected behavior of the circuit is to uh, hold on to the value as long as the load signal is zero and uh, 
get the value updated with the value on the input as soon as the value of the enable is one. So let's verify that. I'm going to stop uh, the simulation um, and enable the show value. So I see all the values of all the signals. Initially, the output is XX, uh, which is showing an uninitialized value for the registers. That is fine. Um, we start the simulation and then um, set some values for the input. Let's say we set the value 1, 1, and the clock is uh, moving uh, forward. Um, so if we enable the load signal, we load the value of 1, 1 into the register. If that happens, that confirms the circuit is working as expected. Um, next thing to verify is to uh, set the clock, uh, set the enable signal to zero. Um, so the value of 1, 1 should be held by the registers, no matter what is the value of the input. Let's change the value of input to um, any other value and verify that this value is not being updated to the register. Um, and as soon as you enable the uh, signal, uh, enable the signal, you should be able to write um, to the register and get the value of register update. That confirms the circuit is working as expected. I'm going to stop the simulation and save this file. Next step is to create a symbol from this circuit. I'm going to get a copy of this file. I'm calling that 8 bit register symbol, uh, removing all the drivers. And then attaching port instead of the drivers at the input and attaching an uh, output a port to the output of register. We need one 8-bit input. One 8-bit output. The clock and one eight bit, uh, one uh, single bit input for the enable. Uh, let's pick meaningful names for the ports. The symbol is complete. Going to save this file and then we can go to the next step, create a device symbol. Attaching the circuit to the symbol. Verify that ports appear as expected. Then creating a symbol. Name of this module is 8 bit register. This will be our symbol. It looks good. All the red signals are turned into black, so that's okay. I'm going to save this one into our CPU project library. Eight bit register will be the name of the symbol, and the symbol is added. The next step is to test this symbol using a test bench. I'm going to close all the unnecessary files and then create a new circuit and then dropping the instance of the symbol we created right now. We attach a bus and a breakout, and we need to attach one uh, clock signal and one 
a switch for testing. And we attach two hex keyboards for the input. We verify the circuit in the same way that we verified the initial circuit. Uh, let's save this file as a test bench. And then restart the simulation enable show values, so we see the value of the signals. Um, let's put some initial value, let's say 23, and set enable to one, so this new value will be written to the register. And then uh, set the enable back to zero, and then verify that no other input can be loaded into the register, that it's good. New value can't be written to the register as long as enable is zero. Now flip the enable back to one and verify that new value will be written to the register. That confirms that the test bench uh, um, is working. The symbol is working as expected. We can save this file and um, that's the end of the video.